Good morning, everybody. It's another episode of Intellectually Honest, unedited, uncut, and we're going to get right into it. So you know I've been keeping up with the Pelicans, and you know I heard the news about Stan Van Gundy, and you know I got some takeaways from it. The Pelicans seem to be choosing Lonzo Ball over Stan Van Gundy. The Pelicans appear to choose Lonzo Ball over Stan Van Gundy. Let's just dive into this. I'm about to open up. So, the main issue, first of all, I hope the best for Stan Van Gundy. I said it in almost like, you know, 30% of my videos, you know, Stan Van Gundy was not the coach for this team. Uh, uh, Point Zion is, you know, it, it's a nice touch. It's a nice um, dynamic to have as part of your offense, but it should not be the whole offense. So uh, Stan was just not the guy. And um, uh, I think they need some new blood that can relate to these young players. And uh, But I still wish Stan the best. So, but anyway, the main gripe with the Pelicans this year and, and it all started coming out toward the end uh, here recently in, in, in uh, recent months that uh, that the, the Stan Van Gundy wasn't gelling well with the with the players, and uh, and all that stuff started coming out. Um, you know, once the season was over, like think about that for a sec. Uh, you know, you got Lonzo Ball, uh, who had the best year of his career so far. Zion Williamson, who's who's Zion Williamson, Brandon Ankum, who's a who's a good player, who's a star, um, and you don't even make the play-in tournament. You know what I mean? Like, come on now, like players. You know, you playing players to their weaknesses, not their strengths. And it appeared at for a while that Lonzo Ball was the scapegoat. He was the scapegoat. You know, when the season first started, oh, well, if only they had a point guard that can shoot. Lonzo Ball don't shoot well enough to play alongside of Zion. He don't shoot well enough to be a factor. And, and they're not going to have the ball in his hand because they have the ball in Ingram's hand. So, he's not, so you know what I'm saying? Making, him seem, making Lonzo Ball seem useless, almost. Um, and now, what a 180. Gosh. Now, the Pelicans seem to be choosing Lonzo Ball over Stan Van Gundy. Which make which you know if they have if they give any kind of damn about maintaining Zion Williamson. Zion Williamson has a good relationship with Zoe. Ingram want, and they both have come out and said that the offense runs the best when Lonzo Ball runs it. So if you're if you're if you're a star player, if Zion Williamson is saying that and you want to keep him happy, you want to do what's best for him. You know what I'm saying, and it's just it's like it's, it's it shouldn't be this hard. It shouldn't be this hard, but I feel like I feel like this makes things interesting, though. I feel like this makes things interesting because if the Pelicans are choosing Lonzo Ball over Stan Van Gundy, what does that mean for Lonzo Ball's free agent uh, status? If he gets a big offer from the Knicks or the Bulls or whatever, are the Pelicans gonna match it? And if they match it, are they going to really let Lonzo Ball do his thing? Now, personally, if I'm Lonzo Ball, I'm still not wanting to be signed with this team. I'm just not. Um, nah. <laughs> if the Knicks or the Bulls come knocking, I'm begging the Pelicans to keep their money in their pocket. Do not match that offer if I'm Lonzo Ball. Like, I, I cannot. I, he, no. Um... Unless they unless they come out and, and make a statement or something saying that hey you're our point guard going forward, we want you to quarterback this thing. Zion Williamson is a is a dynamic player, once in a lifetime, once in a generation type player. He could be once in a lifetime. Um, and we want you to get the best out of him. He seems to like playing with you. We want we gonna trust y'all. Unless they come out and say that, if I'm Lonzo Ball and I give any type of damn about my career, I'm out of there. You know, straight up, like it's like I said, it, it, it's neat. It's a it's an interesting twist that the Pelicans seem to be choosing Lonzo Ball over Stan Van Gundy. Um, you know, and it, and really, let's be real. On paper, 
this team should be way better. Like they have, I know some people would gripe about the center position with Adams and listen, Adams is not trash. And even if Adams is trash, they still got Jackson Hayes, who's not trash. They still got Hernan Gomez. They have good players. Every player on every position doesn't need to be a star. You have three really talented young players, three stars. Alonso Ball is a star. Mark my words. Like this, like like like, like the great prophet Lavar Ball said, he ain't no freaking role player. He's a star. You have three stars. You know what I mean? And this team could be so good, but they have to they have to get some kind of direction. They have to get some kind of direction. Whoever they bring in there uh, next needs to needs to not have they had their head up their ass and 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 make some smart decisions about how this thing needs to run. Brandon Ingram and Zion do not need to be point guards or playmakers. They need to focus on scoring. I, I, I keep saying LeBron James has LeBron James and Steph Curry have the league spoiled. I should say Steph Curry. He th- he has everybody thinking. All right, anybody as long as we jack up threes, we can win. We can win some championships. But nobody's winning like that except Steph. Dame Lillard does it, but he gets bounced in the playoffs every year. James Harden did it. How many times has he been to the finals uh, in the last decade? You know, that one time with OKC. I mean, it was like I was like ten years ago, bro. You know, <laughs> it's like. You know, like nobody's winning us like like that except Steph. Just like with LeBron James, they think everybody's supposed to be a point forward. You know, because LeBron James is a beast at it. LeBron James is a point guard. LeBron James is a six nine. He's Magic Johnson. He's Magic Johnson with Mike with with Michael Jordan scoring ability. You know, he's he's that. He's a he's a six nine point guard. Let's just keep it real. That's why I didn't understand the hype. They're not getting off topic, but anyway. Um, but anyway, LeBron and Steph got people spoiled thinking that that's what that, that that's how you need to play to win. So they try to make everybody fit that mold. The league, the teams around the league are trying to make are trying to force their players to fit that mold. Brandon Ingram is not a point forward. I've never seen that work. I went and I went back and watched this Duke highlights. He was he is not a point forward. I don't know where that came from. I don't know what you know what I mean. Zion Williamson ain't played point guard since high school. Like let's like chill out, bro. Like, stop playing. You know what I'm saying? So whatever player, they, whatever coach they get in there needs to let Lonzo Ball do his thing. But I don't trust them to do that. So if I'm Lonzo Ball, I'm still getting the heck up out of town. You know, just straight up. But um, let me know what y'all think in the comments. I'm not gonna make this a long video. I just you know, I just think that's an interesting di- uh, twist to this whole Lonzo Ball saga. Um, do y'all think it's gonna convince him to stay? Would y'all want him to see him to stay? Would y'all want to see him stay? Um, uh, who do y'all think should be the head coach? I hear a lot of people saying Fred Vincent. Uh, I wouldn't be against that. You know, I feel like he's 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 had the most positive impact on Lonzo Ball's career so far, and uh, you know, so I wouldn't be against that. He's young enough to he seems young enough to relate to the young players, um, so I would not be against that at all. Um, yeah, let me know in the comments what y'all think about this. The Pelicans appearing to choose Lonzo Ball over Stan Van Gundy. Whew. Who saw that coming? It's another episode of Intellectually Honest. Signing up. Like, comment, subscribe.